doing an empties video or a products I've used up video, these are some of my favorite videos on YouTube to watch. I like to see not only like a full review, but when people have used up a product, it kind of says a lot about a product, good or bad. So let's dive right in. The first thing is a hand soap. It's Miss Meyers Clean Day Hand Soap. It's in the scent Peony, which is a limited edition scent. It comes out only a few months out of the year. I did still see some at my local grocery store the other day, but I think it is like a spring and summer scent. The smell of the peonies is just great. This is a good hand soap. It is made without parabens, a bunch of other bad stuff. I think that it's probably healthier than the Bath and Body Works soaps, which I still buy, but I like the Miss Meyers soaps. The next product that I use up is actually kind of two, but they came together. It's the Josie Marin Whipped Argon Oil Body Butter in the scent Vanilla Apricot. I just did a Sephora haul with a new jar of this. This, I believe, came from QVC because I got both of them together. Um, like I said in the haul video, this is a great product. If you haven't used Josie Marin's body butter, I highly recommend that you try it. I generally only use this at night in the warmer months and then in the winter and the cooler months, I usually wear it after every time I shower. It doesn't get super greasy and it just really moisturizes your skin and leaves it just silky smooth. Next is IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Eye Cream. This is probably one of the best eye creams I have ever used. I think that it dramatically reduced the fine lines under my eye. I can't say enough good things about it. I'll definitely be repurchasing this the next time I see it either at Ulta or on QVC. The next isn't really an empty, but I have the empty box because I just put it in the shower. It's the Cebu Cleansing Face and Body Bar. I first started using this when I was pregnant with my son. I got really bad um, like hormonal pregnancy acne, and this was the only thing that cleared it up. It is all natural. I love it. I have used it consistently for about four years now. I think I got a three pack on Amazon. You can also get them at most um, like all natural stores. We have like a health food store here in town that carries it. It's cruelty free. It's just, I think it's a great all natural product and I've seen dramatic changes in my skin since I started using it. The next two products aren't necessarily used up but they're both expired so I'm gonna talk about them. The first is the Tarte Guard. It's an SPF uh, lotion that you put on under your foundation. It is SPF 30. I have had this for like four years now and I only use it in the summer and I used it recently and I burned on my face and then when I realized how long I'd had it and looked at the expiration date, I realized that I've had it a little too long. It expired like a year ago. So it is still about half full but I am going to dispose of it because it's clearly not working anymore. I would definitely purchase this again. My Sephora doesn't carry it. I did see it online though. The next time I buy it, I'm going to buy the smaller bottle. I think they have like 0.7 ounce or like a 1.7 ounce. This is a little bit larger. That is going to get tossed, but a good product. I did like it. The next is almost out. It is the MAC Studio Fix fluid foundation in NW25. It has just a tiny bit left in there and I can't get the rest of it out. Um, it's kind of like dried and kind of yucky. This is probably really old. Um, it's probably at least two years old. So it's going to get tossed as well. I need to really go through my makeup. I don't always check the expiration dates on my makeup which I know I should. Next is a lotion. It is the Honest Face and Body Lotion. I got this in my Honest bundle, but they do sell it at Target. I um, believe they sell it on Amazon, and I think they also sell it like at Baby R Us and like the kids stores. This scent is Apricot Kiss. Not my favorite scent. I actually ordered two of them in the same scent because I thought I was getting it. I got confused. I thought it was a different scent. It doesn't really smell like apricots. I don't really care for the smell, but I like the product. I use this as a lotion during the day, generally on my body. It doesn't get greasy. I definitely will repurchase. I like the orange vanilla scent much better than the apricot kiss, which I won't buy again. Next, I have a couple shampoos and conditioners. These are by OGX, and they're sulfate-free shampoo and conditioner. They are in, it's the Shea Soft and Smooth. They were okay. I think I got them because I was out of shampoo and conditioner and couldn't make it to Ulta or the Beauty Supply. I got these at the grocery store, I think. Um, I do like that they, I think they're sulfate and paraben-free. I have a sulfate allergy, so 
I'm always looking at that. I didn't particularly care for this smile and I feel like they kind of left a little bit of a waxy texture on my hair, but I think they were five bucks each, so. Next is another shampoo and conditioner. It's Redken. It's the color extending shampoo and conditioner. I really did like these. The one thing that I have to say that I don't, I hate is the shampoo is like twice the size of the conditioner. Um, and I feel like because I have such long hair, I need a little bit of extra conditioner, especially for my ends. So I did use the conditioner up before I used the shampoo up, but I, I really like these. I definitely would repurchase these. This is a little bit of a random product. It's called Ten Skin. I first found this product about 10 years ago, and it's kind of an aftershave, if you will. It says, the skincare solution for unsightly razor bumps, ingrown hairs, razor burn for men and women. I use this on my bikini line after I get waxed. If you spread it on um, the first couple days after you get waxed, or I guess even if you shave, it helps to prevent ingrown hairs. The smell on this is atrocious. It smells like rotten vinegar but it works. So um, the one thing that does worry me about this, it says, do not use if you're pregnant. And I'm like, Oof. so something in there is uh, maybe a little bit scary, but it's a great product. It absolutely works. This little bottle I got at Ulta, I think it's like 20 bucks. I Somewhere I picked up this other rollerball product that you like pour this into there and then like roll it on. So I poured this into my rollerball product. If you get really bad ingrown hairs, especially after you get waxed, this is really good. My husband has used it before too. Sometimes he gets um, razor burn or just some ingrown hairs and he really likes it too. So we actually both both use this product. And my last two products are actually for my son. I have two of these. These are the Honest Company Bubble Bath. I get these in our bundle. It's in the scent Sweet Orange Vanilla. I love it because it's all natural. It's a clean product. We put this in my son's bubble bath. It creates great bubbles. He loves it. It's all natural, hyperallergenic. He's never gotten any skin irritation from it. So the sweet orange vanilla flavor is our favorite. And this product is from the brand Lush. This is the R&B butter. It's the hair moisturizer. We don't use conditioner on my son's hair. We just wash it with like the Honest Company shampoo and body wash. And then when he gets out of the bath, we put this on his hair. It's a leave-in conditioner. He has curly hair, so it's great for to keep the curls nice. This jar does last a long time. You can see you get quite a bit in it. We probably use a jar like every maybe 9 to 12 months. So you just need like a little tiny dab and it goes a long way. But I've actually used this on my hair as well and the ends for leave-in conditioner when my hair is really really dry, but if you have a Lush around you, I highly recommend going in there and seeing all the products that they have. This was actually recommended by somebody in there for his hair, and we've probably been using it since he was maybe about a year old, so love that. Those are the products that I've used up. I will link all of them in the description box below. If you have any questions about the products, go ahead and leave them in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye! <laughs> bye! Bye-bye!